Hello, and welcome to Phil Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Wins Replication. In this scenario, we're going to have two Win servers, each in a separate site, which will be able to replicate with each other. In other words, they'll share information about devices that they have discovered. We are looking at the Win server on Site 2. The computer is called Win Site 2. Our goal for this video is to convert it into a Win server and to have it replicate with the Win server in Site 1. We've already installed the Win tool to this server. Let's take a look at this active registration. We can see that there is nothing listed yet. We can try displaying the records. And when we check to see how many replication partners it has, we see there are none. Let's connect the interface card of this server to the WINS database. We'll go inside of Network Connections. Pull up the Ethernet properties. Go into the dialog box of the Internet Protocol version 4. Click on the Advanced button and then click on the Wins tab. Let's type in the IP address for the Win server we are currently on. Now let's try displaying the record and see if we see the Win Site 2 server come up. Yes, there they are. Now let's set up this Win server with its counterpart in Site 1. We'll go to New Replication Partners and type up the IP address of the server called WinSite1. It's important to note that we can try using the push or pull method in order to replicate with the other site. We need to verify our settings inside of the Properties box. For the push method, if the version ID is zero, the push method is disabled. The number needs to be at least 20 in order for it to work. Now we're back on the Win server in Site 1. Let's pull up the Wins tool and take a look at the active registrations. We'll choose the display record and use the wildcard inside of the record mapping. As you can see, the server from Site 2 has not shown up yet, even with a refresh. In order to get it to work, we have to set up the replication on this server also. We'll choose a new replication partner and type up the IP address of the server on Site 2. There, now let me try refreshing. There it goes. Win site 2. The two win servers are now replicating. Now let's verify that the server on site 2 is also seeing the new changes. Instead of switching screens to the one on Site 2, we can actually use the WINS tool on Site 1 and connect to Site 2 using that tool.
There, it appears that the win server on site 2 has received the replication also. In these last two videos, we saw how we could use WINS to help support legacy applications that require IP addresses. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.